The motion is adopted. Given a second chance, the House did an about face, easily passing the $700 billion bailout of the financial industry. Dozens of lawmakers from both parties changed their votes to now support the bill. It may be politically damaging, and the sky may fall tomorrow, but it'll fall upon my head. Our economy is not stable. Working families are suffering. Unemployment is over 10% in my own district. Today I'm going to cast a red, white, and blue collar vote with my hand over my heart for this country because things are really bad and we don't have any choice. Some say they did the about face because of the stock market slide that resulted from Monday's defeat. Others pointed to the tax breaks and the increase in deposit insurance that were added by the Senate. But that just made it worse for some lawmakers. It is simply wrong. It's irresponsible. At the White House, President Bush hailed the bill's passage and quickly signed it. We have acted boldly to help prevent the crisis on Wall Street from, beca from becoming a crisis in communities across our country. The vote came as the government reported the September unemployment rate was 6.1 percent. 159,000 jobs were lost last month bringing the total for the year to more than three quarters of a million. It was an up and down day on Wall Street. The Dow Industrials were up more than 200 points during the session, but closed with a loss of more than 150 points. The bailout bill may have passed and already been signed into law, but Democrats say it's not the end. They're planning a series of hearings into the causes and impacts of the financial crisis on Wall Street. The first hearing is set for Monday, and they plan to hear from former Fed Chairman Alan Greenspan later this month. Jerry Bodlander, The Associated Press, Capitol Hill.